On my previous demonstrations, I showed you how you can install PyHall and configure some of the options available to you. During those demonstrations, I use a Windows machine and I change its DNS towards this PyHall. You can do that, but however, in that situation, you have to go to every single one of your machine and change its local DNS to the spy hole that you have just created. This is cumbersome and takes a lot of time if you have a lot of machines on your local area network. Sometimes that's not even possible in certain situations, such as if you have a guest Wi-Fi network where people with Wi-Fi devices such as laptops and cell phones are connecting to your network, uh, it will be very difficult uh, to change those DNS towards the spy hole. Instead of changing the DNS locally, as we did previously for demonstration purposes, you can direct all your DNS requests towards this spy hole through your router. As long as you have the access to your local area network router and the administrative username and password or the password, you would be able to do that. To direct all your local area traffic towards PyHole, what we need to do is to write down this IP address for your PyHole or remember this PyHole IP address. Then open the interface for your router or router modem combination. So the management interface for your router or router modem combination may be different depending on the manufacturer. For me, it's 192.168.1.1. But for you, it could be something different. So if you receive a router modem combination from your ISP, for example, please check the back of the device and it should have a management IP in address for management interface IP address sticker on the back of that device. If you have a different router other than a router like a Linksys, you can check the manuals or on the back of that device to check what's the default uh, management IP address. So once you have entered into the default ma management uh, IP address onto a um, web browser, you can enter the password to get in there. And once you are in there, you need to find where you have the DNS information entered on this router. For this particular router, it is under connectivity, local network, and I can see the DNS information written down right here, shown down here. So depending on your router, your DNS information may be on a different location. So keep that in mind. For this particular link says it's happened to be under connectivity, local network. So if you have the same type of link says router, it must be under connectivity, local network, but it may be different from um, uh, each uh, situation. So it, it, depending on your router, it will be in a different location. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change the primary DNS right here to something that we have created, right? So in this situation, the, the, the my pi hole happened to be at 192.168.26.5. So we're gonna change it to 192.168.26.5. Now, if I save this configuration, what's gonna happen? Every connected local area network device will go through the pi hole because now I have specifically directed that traffic towards that pi hole IP address, this pi hole IP address. And the secondary uh, DNSs will kick in if the pi hole is down. And if you don't want those things, you can take them out, uh, like you can uh, remove them uh, completely. And that way the secondary DNS uh, will not get kicked in if uh, you decided to remove them uh, from your configuration. And if you want to force everybody to go through and everybody must go through the pie hole and if the pie hole is down, nobody should have access to the outside and uh, D, uh, DNSs. You can simply remove all the other DNSs and just leave the pie hole DNS itself. Typically, it is not recommended. Typically, we recommend at least putting 
uh, some uh, secondary DNSs here, uh, like such as a public DNSs. But this is how you can force all your network traffic and all the devices on your network to go through your Pi-hole uh, network-wide uh, DNS sinkhole. This way you don't have to go through every single client and changing your DNS because any client that connected to this router will now go to the Pi-hole DNS configuration. And that's everything for today. And until next time, thank you so much. Have a nice day.